Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this weekend I've decided to come out to the Flinders Ranges, which I'm so excited for. I figured since it was going to be a long weekend, everyone would be heading to the coast. So I figured I'd be a little bit different and, you know, tackle the 30 to 40 degree days, literally in the middle of the desert. So I am staying out at a spot, which is the Rawnsley Park Station. And then I will be exploring all of the cool areas around here, potentially hit up a few four wheel drive tracks, do a couple of hikes, but I haven't fully planned out what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to play it by ear, see how hot it gets. But I have actually gotten here a little bit later in the afternoon just given that it is about a five and a half hour drive from Adelaide so I'm just gonna head into the camp set everything up and then there's actually a pool here so I'm think I'm just gonna enjoy that for the afternoon and then I'm gonna tackle all of the best spots tomorrow so I'll see you guys all shortly Kicking off my very first hike here in the Flinders Ranges, I decided to head out to the Akaru Rock Circuit, which is about a three kilometer hike all up. It is a nice, easy circuit, although it does estimate two hours. I found this one to be a lot easier and could definitely be completed in a shorter period of time, but there is some beautiful rock paintings along this walk, which are said to be over 5,000 years old, and they do hold a lot of significant value to, you know, local communities in the area. So I thought it was really special to be able to kick this one off first. All right, so that one was a nice, easy hike to start us off because it is quite hot in this area around this time of year. I'm probably not gonna be able to get any like crazy hikes in. So I'm gonna head out to a spot called Razorback Lookout. And I believe there is some easier potential four wheel drive tracks or all wheel drive tracks that I can access. So let's head over that way and hopefully we can see some absolutely beautiful views. So we made it out to Razorback Lookout and I made a little Jimny friend as well.
Good morning guys. So it is my very last day here in the Flinders Ranges and I've actually got a lot more to do today than I have this entire weekend. So I'm going to be having a really nice early start. So I'm going to pack up my camp now and then I'm going to be heading effectively. There's a lookout that I want to get to. Hopefully I can get the drone up there. And then I also want to get to a spot called Devil's Peak on my way home as well. So there might be a couple more stops along the way, but I noticed a couple of questions on my last video <laughs> regarding my swag. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update to show you exactly like what broke because I actually did get it fixed, which is why I can camp this weekend so let me show you so last weekend it was effectively this clip here that broke so the whole swag was just collapsing down and I couldn't physically put it up and being that I was in sand and I don't actually have sand pegs there was no way that that swag was going to stay up especially with the wind so that's why I decided to call it but I was actually really lucky I did go into BCF where I bought the swag and I kind of like explained the situation to them and they actually did cover under warranty so I've got a brand new pole which hopefully won't break in a little while but yeah so that was super helpful obviously if I had to buy a new one that would have been fine but I'm so glad that I didn't have to so money win there but either way let's get this campsite packed up and then we'll get to our first spot for the morning So first up on my list this morning is the Stokes Hill Lookout. This is absolutely beautiful, pretty easy one to get to as well and it's just a drive up lookout. So let's check out this spot and then we'll see where we're off to next. I was just driving past and I figured I would stop off here. So there are heaps of these like old station ruins literally everywhere. So I thought, why not check it out? And the fact that you can walk through this one is pretty cool as well. But apparently this one dates back to 1881, which was, I guess not really that long ago in the get brand screen of things. Alright, so Jarvis Hill Lookout, this one is actually under a kilometre, so it should be pretty easy, but we'll see how steep it is overall.
All right, as expected, that one was a pretty easy one, but still absolutely beautiful. So right now I'm heading actually down to the southern end of the Flinders Ranges. So I'm heading down to a spot called Devil's Peak and it's about an hour away from here. So let's get on the road and I will show you guys this spot shortly. All right guys, slight change of plans. So I decided to actually bypass Devil's Peak hike just because it is literally smack bang in the middle of the day and it is hot as hell. So I thought that doing a bit of a rock scramble for a couple of hours probably wasn't the smartest idea for the middle of the day. So instead I've actually stuck with the southern end of the Flinders Ranges and I've come out to a spot which is within the Mount Remarkable National Park. So this is the Alligator Gorge and look, I've actually heard some pretty cool things. It is potentially, you know, I'm gonna say two to four kilometers depending on which way you want to go. I'm probably going to stick with the shorter one and yeah we'll see what we can see. This is honestly so stunning. I'm not gonna lie, walking back up those stairs in this heat was honestly disgusting. It is not something I recommend doing in the middle of the day, but either way guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope that I have been able to make the Flinders Ranges, you know, quite enjoyable to watch. It's definitely one of those locations you just need more time than what you could possibly ever have to explore it all. So who knows, maybe I'll come back out here, but I think for what I was able to achieve within this time of year has been honestly really cool. And some of the places I've seen were absolutely magical. So not sure what I'm gonna do next weekend, probably gonna to be back by the water but I will see you guys all then.